Hi guys, it's me, Bees for Virtue, and I am back with another video. I apologize for being gone so long. It's been a couple of weeks since I last seen you guys, but I'm back. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into it. As you can tell from the title of this video, this video is about some of the things that I've purchased um, over the couple of weeks, maybe months, from my thrifting uh, tours. Yeah, I've been thrifting, Goodwill, a whole bunch of different thrift stores and boutiques here in the Atlanta area. And I'm going to show you in this segment some of the blazers that I found, which are really trendy right now. And um, blazers, I think, are one of the easiest things that you can find in a thrift store. Of course, when I do a thrifting haul, you're not going to be able to um, probably go out and get the exact same thing as it would be for like some department store haul. But this is just to give you some ideas of some of the type of things to look for and some of the things that you can find in your local thrift stores or Goodwills. One of the blazers that I'm wearing right now is um, one that I got from the thrift store. It's this blue blazer and it has like a nice little satin lining. It's very well made. It's um, I'm gonna get up, okay? This is a blazer that I purchased from the thrift store and it's um, kind of like a crop blazer and um, it's a nice little royal blue color and I also got this necklace from a yard sale but I'm gonna do a jewelry segment later but um yeah it has a nice little satin lining in it it has um, three buttons here on the side and the cool thing about these blazers is well this one only cost me about three dollars I believe I got it from the Goodwill I think or yeah it was around three or four dollars so yeah it's really really cute you can just throw it on with a pair of jeans as I have one and a white tee and you're out the door it dresses up a pair of jeans really easily and um, yeah this is it I just love this necklace I'm gonna have to I have some hot jewelry to show you guys that I've gotten from yard sales and thrift stores but okay the next blazer that I'm gonna show you is this blazer right here it is an Oscar de la Renta blazer it's lined with a um, um, the Oscar de la Renta sign all through it. You can't really see it, but it has Oscar de la Renta um, pattern inside of the blazer. I'm going to show you what it looks like on. It's just a nice red blazer, another great trendy color for fall. Okay, so this is the Oscar de la Renta blazer, and it's just a nice plastic blazer. Um, it's a little bit longer than the last one, and um, you just throw it on with a pair of jeans and a white tee. That's why I chose to wear this to show you guys how easy these blazers go with just about anything and how well they can dress up just some jeans and a white t-shirt. So this is the Oscar de la Renta. It has like a longer um, lapel here and um, it has two buttons here. along with two faux pockets on the side because they don't really work. And this blazer was about $3. And it's a name brand, not bad for name brand, right? This next blazer here, I just love. It is a cream blazer, which is what I normally wear in the winter as my white. And I just love it. It has no collars, collarless, and it buttons down lower. So you have all of this open here to showcase a really nice necklace or blouse underneath, and it just fits very well and nicely snug, and it is just so luxurious. I mean, you could pair this with just about anything. I love this blazer. This is by far one of my favorite finds at the thrift store and I believe this one cost about under five dollars anywhere between three to five I can't remember because I got all of my blazers at different places but they all average between three and five dollars so the blazer section is my favorite section of the thrift store so when you're thrifting definitely check out the blazers i'm probably going to change these little buttons here but that's simple you can um, switch out the buttons very easily so i might change them to like some gold buttons but yeah it has like three buttons here on the side you can see that and then two buttons here and a nice open
Next is another collarless blazer, and this is a nice velvety um, blazer here. It's a, um, it's like a plum color, if you can tell. I'm not sure what the camera's gonna make it look like. It's not brown, it's a deep plum color. Has some faux pockets here on the side that I can slit open and actually use if I want. But it's a nice little light jacket um, to wear as it starts to, you know, get a little cooler with the weather. And it fits really, really well. And last but not least, this pattern is very Chanel-esque inspired. It's not a Chanel jacket, but um, this print is definitely trendy right now. It's a classic look. This is a classic print, Jackie O-ish. Um, it has these cute little buttons here. I don't know if you guys can see them. It's black with the gold detail buttons. Um, it's very well made. It feels great. Um, the pockets are really cute, the little slanted faux pockets on the side um, with the black trim around. The collar also has the black trim around the collar as well. And it is a cute jacket. I love it. I believe it probably went with a suit, but I'll probably wear it as a jacket. It's very regal, and this is a classic jacket. I'm sure I will wear this jacket like for years to come. It's classic, it's timeless, so. Love it. Five dollars. Okay, so as you can see, the five blazers that I showed you were really, really cute, and the great thing about them is that they were really, really inexpensive! And I also had like a name brand, Oscar de la Renta, um, the red blazer, which I'm sure in stores would cost a lot. I think I'm gonna sit over here. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna sit. Okay, I'm back. But the red blazer behind me, the Oscar de la Renta, you know if you find that in department stores, it's gonna cost um, maybe way more than $5, I know that. So anyways, when you go to the thrift store, um, one of the best things that you can find are some great classic quality blazers. Um, a few tips though, when you go, you wanna wear something that, something like a tee, a fitted tee, and um, something that you can try on clothes easily on top of, because not all thrift stores have changing rooms. Um, sometimes they're really, really small. Sometimes you just don't feel like trying everything on, but you do wanna try blazers on, and you do wanna try on the things that you definitely can um, before you purchase them, because a lot of um, the thrift stores have no returns so you want to make sure that what you're purchasing does fit so I always wear something tight like a, a fitted tee um, under a jacket or whatever so I can easily try on clothes I can try on a dress on top of this I can try on blazers sweaters and I don't need a changing room um, the next thing you want to do is you want to check your clothes thoroughly you want to make sure that there aren't any you know armpit stains and just um, I don't know, you just wanna make sure you check the pockets, you wanna make sure you check the stitching, because although you're paying um, a little bit of money for these clothes, you still wanna make sure that they're in good shape and they don't have any major defects that you can't fix or, you know, that will cause you not to wanna wear them or any gross or disgusting things. Um, because, yeah, you just wanna make sure you check your clothes thoroughly. Also, if you see something that you like at the thrift store and you're, you're not 100% sure but it does grab your attention, just take it off the rack and carry it around with you and think about it. But do not leave it on the rack because <laughs> it will probably not be there five minutes later or whatever. You just don't want to take that chance because it's not like there are several, um, like at a department store where you might find a jacket and there's like three or four of those jackets in your size. At a thrift store, if you see it, you like it, grab it. And what else? Um, the key to thrifting also is to frequent them. Um, you want to go often because sometimes, you know, you might go on a day and you might not find anything and that's fine. And then some days might just be your lucky day. But the thing about thrift stores and the Goodwill is that they constantly put um, things on their floor hourly and definitely daily. So you definitely want to go often to, to find different things. So. 
Before I head out, I also wanted to show you some cute little clutches that I purchased from the thrift store and that I also got from um, my boyfriend's mom. <laughs> so you also, with thrifting, you wanna check older people like a great your grandmother, um, older aunts and things like that. They have some awesome stuff in their closets that they probably just didn't get rid of. If they let you, ask them if you can, you know, take a peek and you might get lucky enough and they might let you have some things. But um, these are some clutches that I got. They were like two to three dollars. This first one is a um, fuchsia little clutch here and it's like a large change purse. It has a little chain here and it has like a little snap here that you can open and it's got a lot of room in here. And I actually took this to a wedding that I went to in September and it was really, really cute. But this clutch, love it. We'll probably um, use it for a long, long time. I think it was like three or four dollars. The next one is this cute little um, clutch as well. And it has like a long chain. So you can put it on your, I haven't worn it yet, but you can wear it on your shoulder or you can tuck the chain in and wear it as a clutch. But this says $4. I don't know if you guys can see it. $4. But um, the other thing too is that on certain days, certain thrift stores have half off. Um, you know, so that's another reason why you want to go on certain days because they have half off and like at the Goodwill as well because I'm telling you this because I didn't pay four dollars for this I got this for 50% off and so it was like two dollars but the Goodwill also has senior citizens day so like I took my mom in there one time and we got like I can't remember the percentage but it made cheap even cheaper so if you know somebody that's 65 and older take them with you to go shopping you'll get an extra discount um, but back to this purse here, it is, you can tuck the straps in, but you flip it open, it has a little zipper here, well it's not even a zipper, but like a little extra space in here, and then deep down just another little area here. So really, really cute, I love this like mauve color here, and under $5, you can't beat that. The next one is a hand clutch. It, opens up like this and then there's like a zipper here where you can put change or whatever inside sometimes you might find money in these things but yeah a little zipper here and then you can open this part up here up top and it goes really really deep it has a lot of room it's a great purse to carry if you're going out on the town you just want to have something to hold your ID maybe a little compact or some lips lip gloss or something like that it's really really cute and it's a cream color and um, under five dollars so that is it for now I could go on I have so much to show you guys but I just want to show you some blazers that I found at the thrift store um, and to show you these clutches and to let you know that you can also go and find some great finds for really really um, minimal cost and still look great still look regal and you know put together on a dime so I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys on the next video bye B is for virtue.com